American record by Calvin Smith, who has entered in this race, uh, 9 and 93, one hundredths of a second. And a uh, strong American contingent competed at the World Championships in Helsinki. And you talk of Calvin Smith and Carl Lewis and Emmett King, and you talk about the best in the world. Roger, 157 nations out of... We're back here now with Calvin Smith and Emmett King all set. Notice Mel Latney in lane four. He's been number two ranked in the world in the past. Alan Wells in lane six is the Olympic champion in 1980 from Great Britain. Also from the United States, James Butler in seven, Marty Cruley in eight, Cameron Sharp of Great Britain in one, and Ron Brown of the United States in lane two, the men's 100 meters. This event gives America the best chance for a gold medal in 1984, in my opinion, as we had at times eight of the top ten people in the world ranked last year were American sprinters as far as times and the performances. False start, let's pick it up. I believe it was James Butler of the United States. So we'll do it again. Here's Brown in lane two. Emmett is in lane three. Mel Latney in the green in lane four. Alan Wells right there in the center of your screen in white. They're away evenly. Watch Emmett King if he gets a good start. And, and Calvin Smith, they'll make a race of it. Here Latney's comes. also there. Calvin Smith. Latney looked like he nailed down second, and Calvin, and if that time holds up, Roger, 9.99. The wind has been under the allowable limit for most of the athletes tonight. That is superb time. Official time, 9 and 97, one hundredths of a second, as Mel Latney came over to give him a high five, along with Ron Brown. Roger, he's not known for a good starter. He'd get out poorly then. Imagine if he had gotten out well. He is in great shape during this European season. That ties the fastest time for this distance ever run in history at sea level. Look at him begin to lift. He still hasn't got the lead yet. Emmett King running well. Mel Latney in green. Ron Brown, the football player, inside. And it's Calvin Smith. The longer the race goes, the better he becomes. Outstanding time. Nine and 97 one-hundredths of a second. Just four one-hundredths of a second off his world record he set at altitude. That is probably as fast a performance as man has ever seen. The United States with the top four finishers in this event. As you take a look at Latney right there along with Calvin Smith. Latney, the green with the wristlets on his hands. And what a competitor he has been through the years. That man helped Herschel Walker become a better sprinter than any other athlete. He worked with him. He went to Georgia with him at the same time. I'd like to add the wind gauge for this event was 1.6 meters per second, which is under the 2.0 2 meters, which makes it legal. So it's a legal time. I'd like to also add the other 9.97, the only second one done in history, was done with a wind, a following wind of 1.48. So those two are about the same. That was done by Carl Lewis. He Calvin, you've done it again. After we talked earlier, and you said who your dangers were, a fantastic time, under 10 seconds, 9.97, 1.6 wind assist game. Feel good? Does I feel good? I've been wanting to get another time uh, lower than 10 flat to go along with my world record to show people that it just really wasn't a one day thing that I know I'm capable of running just as well on any given day. That's right and I mean it's no, it's a low altitude thing. Yes it is and I'm just you know, very happy that I ran that good time. Now if you can remember the hundred meters tell us how you started. Well I feel that I had a, a pretty decent start. I don't feel that I came out of the blocks first but I think I came pretty much right there with the group and uh, I think that I just started uh, lifting my knees higher and I just started accelerating very well and at the last part of the race you know I just pumped my arms very hard and I think you know that sort of helped me move a little faster. Where are the nearest people to you? Where did you get to them? 80 meters or? Well I think yeah, around 80 meters I was right there with everyone and then maybe the last 20 meters so I just sort of eased away from them a little bit. I tell you what it was good we had a talk earlier on wasn't it? It was, it uh, helped out a lot. It gave me a little more incentive to run a little faster. Now, what about a real and a further 100 meters? Well, uh, <laughs> it's hard to say about Calvin's here. Uh, I love the fan. They have been behind, behind all the athletes, and they really give you the incentive that you really want to run and give them a good show. You gave them tremendous incentive tonight, and you feel easy, relaxed now? Yes, I do. I feel I need to go and just warm down a little bit because I have the 200 to go. This is going to be a little tougher race. Yeah, they're going to go for you in that race. I'm sure they will, and it's going to be tough, but I hope that, I, that I'll be able to come out with another win. Well, we hope so, too, Calvin. Terrific race. Many congratulations. Thank you. 